poles good? They've been greased. Oh, hey everybody. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Midwest Horizon. Folks, I think today's episode 7, I believe, and I hope y'all doing alright. I'm, I'm letting Bertha over there warm up. She's got a pretty good sized load of wood chips on her. Uh, two tractors here are greased and the uh, oil and stuff checked in them. Just in case the guys get back before I do. I'm actually late. That's, let's see here. It's uh, 7.50, 10 minutes to 8, or 9 minutes to 8. We're going to get this load of wood chips. It's 676,310 liters, which is 68% of this trailer. But this truck's starting to have a hard time pulling it. And it's supposed to hold a million liters, but I don't think it's going to do it. But anyway, we're going to set a worker out. Uh, Andy, of course. We're just going to say Mr. Yankee. Yankee's Outdoor Adventures. And I'm going to go ahead and get these fired up and get a heifer on them. Oh, I love the sound of those. Good old 4640s. Alright, um. Let's see. This is already down. Let's go ahead and, uh. Oh, it's so dark in here. I want to hope that's, uh. Yeah! Get run right over. Who is that? Uh, Sarah, maybe? Looks like Sarah. Uh, that'd be Anna. Anna's going to do her uh, tractor going that way. And I'm going to start it up. I'm going to get this tractor going this way. Scratch road up some here. But we're cultivating. Uh, we didn't put no lime down. Well, yeah, we did put lime down on this and over far enough. Yeah. Uh, but Phil 14 didn't need very much. I don't have a driver for big boy right now. So we're going to go over here and, and look. I don't run in the pole. Here's the bridge I put in. In okay, case some of y'all haven't seen it on the last episode or so. It, it, it fits this perfect across this little creek here. Alright, we're going to go look at the sheeps. I was going to do that the other day and forgot. And everybody's saying, well, you got a load of hay here. Well, not everybody. Some people. Still 4,000 liters, but what I've been doing... Each time I start the game up, I just go in here and hit U for the auto load, 16 bales, and it they're, they're good. They will not rot or anything as long as they're on that trailer being auto loaded. But I want to get more sheeps than what we got, and overnight they did produce 30.59 liters overnight. I'm going to insert that clip right here if I can find it. Or if it took. I can't. I don't know if it remembered or not. It said save picture. But here's our sheeps. They're doing this hunky dory. I think that should be a screenshot right there. There we go. Ah, right. one thing, I haven't gave them no water yet, because, uh, with, I can't remember how I got this pump, really, but, as you can hear it, it is pumping water. Right, it's got a little bit of water here. We'll go in the menu here, and go to our animals, and you see we got 37 liters of water. It will stay that. 
as long as that pump's running, which it will run. Um, I can't remember how many sheets we got, but. Not that many. Some of them are getting a little bit fatter than the others. But I'm not going to sell none of them. I'm wanting them to produce wool, and I hope I got it right. But I haven't fed them any hay either. And that's just what they've been eating off the, the lot here, the pasture. So, yeah. I'm good to go on that until I get some more, probably. Now, I heard uh, this will go through summer like this, and when it comes winter, they'll quit eating off the grass here, and they'll have to have some put in their uh, trough over here. As you can see right now, it's pretty much full. So, I'm not going to feed them right yet. Uh, that does need to be put inside the barn. I'm going to put at least one bale to make sure it don't rod or anything inside there but other than that folks um i guess that's it on the sheeps they're doing good just yeah i got the uh two of the planters here this is going to be canola but we're waiting on uh the guys to get through uh with their stuff i'm gonna try to get these guys go straight through um, I'm out of fertilizer here. I guess I need to put that back up, don't I? I don't think we need that. Um, yeah, completely out of fertilizer. I'll show you what we got done here. All right, uh, our grass is on. We're gonna go to that and take away the plow. This, this, and this, I can't line because it's uh, grass grown. But we got all this here fertilized, that, that, you know, across here is fertilized. 13 we got to finish, and then 16 and part of 15 here. Actually, 15, I think, is 13 here to here, then up through here to here is what needs to be fertilized. And this section right here still needs to be fertilized. So we're almost done with that, but... Even our other guy right here is completely out. We're completely out. So I got to bring some to him. Um, as far as the uh, wood chipping and stuff goes, I got a couple more logs on the trailer there. We're almost to the end, as you can see here. I just went through and started cutting a bunch of them last night because I had about two or three hours left so I just done the cutting and you can see we done a few here I got another piece of log there this thing stopped on me and it's out of fuel which we got 135,931 liters zero liters of fuel gotta get some but we got 150,000 liters to a tank of fuel. So that, that's, that's not bad at all. Now I think that's what we're going to start hauling off to. Uh, of course, the other guys up there, you know, getting hauled off. All right, now it's time to play a little tabaroo here. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, guy going that way stopped. Okay. I mean, got the path. And this guy here is not going all the way through because of the water down there. I am going to plant it through this time just to see if we can grow crops in there. My plan that I wanted ain't working. Just hope me. This multi terrain angles can really throw you off if you're not careful. 
I need to get in the oven and turn him the other way. Oh, he skipped that part. Okay. But our grass should be, uh, see if I can do that fast enough. Um, we can harvest our grass now, but I haven't checked it this morning to see, but. Very unrealistic, but I'm sorry. Oh man, left a spot. But I do like the bridge. I, I really do like that bridge. But uh, I'm going to get some of this done and. Well, hang on. Our truck's almost at the sawmill, so I'll. Well. Uh, be right back folks and meet y'all up there at the sawmill when we sell our wood chips all right be right back all right i think i forgot to hit record but anyway i was saying that we made it up here and uh might take a while we had quite a bit of wood chips there i hope y'all saw that in the beginning anyway it's like 600 and something thousand wood chips and I was going to say you know it's going to take a while so I'll fast forward here for a second all right wood chips is going for three hundred and forty seven dollars and four cents for every ton I guess really don't know how that works in this but everything's in tons and gallons and stuff instead of liters and and stuff like that. All right, we're fixing to get the total. So far, we making ninety thousand six hundred and twenty-seven dollars off of six hundred and something thousand liters of of uh, wood chips or whatever it is, gallons or pounds or whatever. Well, we're up to 110,851. And uh, I'll meet y'all back at the farm. On, uh, we're going to pick up a little bit something about the same, a little different, just a different area. So I will be right back, folks. All right, we're back. This is south of our farm next to where our high board is at. We got some trees right in here I'm wanting to take down. Might take down all of them. I know I'm going to take down all of them on this side. Which is what? Quite a few in there. Can't tell the difference from the other side. But there's a little creek in here and we're just going to leave the creek there. But you can see there's some on this side too. Oh, it's about completed our task. Oh, what are you doing up in the bushes? What are you doing up in the bushes? But yeah, it's a little late getting to work this morning, but you know, at least we got everything going about right. We can have these guys here finish this. Right, Dudden's going, and you can see they will not drive through it on their own, and I cannot raise the ground up above it. So I really don't know. I guess we'll do them, just try to plant through it. All right, I'm gonna get out and go up here. I, I'm sorry this video is going to be about like a whole the rest of mine all over the place. The 8440 John Deere is a hoss, y'all. I love it. We're going to have to get a bigger one, you know, a nearer one. 
This field cultivator is doing pretty good also. I think what I'm going to do is just going to drive on over here and get the edge of this so y'all can see I've been taking down some trees up here too now this thing will not drive very much faster than, but if you get on the road it'll do the 37 but it down like this it, it, it will not so I'm kind of glad in a way because it's more realistic Um, since I got a hundred and ten thousand, I'm thinking about getting about twenty thousand dollars worth of sheep or whatever it takes to fill that livestock trailer up. Cause sheep's gonna help us make money. And uh, just in case y'all wondering, we are going to get cows and horses and stuff like that. Now the horses, there we go, the horses we're only going to get probably about four, maybe six, if that many, this is going to be a small amount, for now anyway, we got to put down a stable for them and stuff like that. And that's what I usually do. I'll run one like this where the other two's got hired workers. And I'll get to spots where it's hard for them. Take a look inside this thing. There's a little bit, everything's the same except for the, the gear shift controls. That one I drove. I drove a. Uh, 8760 I believe it was. That's numbers that's coming to my mind anyway. But one reason I want to get those trees out, if we leave the trees here, that's going to stay moist. And uh, it's going to be hard for the ground dry. Go ahead and go over here. I need to. Uh, it's kind of hard to get your workers working on slanted terrain like this unless you've got the AI, which I do, but it's still hard then too. Let me get some of this done, and I'm going to snap back in here in a second for y'all. Might be a little bit for me. I want to try to get this field done so we can get them on this big field 14 here. And, uh, yeah, that bridge there was already there. I want to lay down some gravel through there and make that another shop area that we can access pretty, pretty well. Kind of like a storage, maybe. But I will be back in just a little bit, folks. All right, guys and girls. That part down there is done. And I'm wrapping up the last part on this in here. And that is field 19. And I'll show you the map here in just a second while it's done. One more time, you know. I know how much y'all hate that map and all the info and stuff like that. I did get the other two across the road going. And I'm going to get this big guy started over there. Next to where... So I got to go ahead and fold it up now. Got to get across this bridge. I'm going to get him started over where I stopped with the fertilizer and have him work back this way. I'll go ahead and get across before all folds. 
Go ahead and start unfolding. Oh yeah, perfect. Man, my phone's going off. Come on, man, unfold. Come on. Perfect. Got his way. We're just going to do across this end here. But I think what I'm going to do is just skip out. 5,000 liters of fertilize. Maybe. You know, we do need some at the farm, but then again, I don't want to, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, right there. There we go. Uh, get so much that we don't need it till next year. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I don't want to waste the money. Did I get it? Yeah, that got it. So I just want to buy just enough to get everything done. All right, he's up right there. So I still got from there to the grass to fertilize. And then what I got left on 13 to fertilize. And, uh, oh, I can't even think of it. The field next to my house, I think it's uh, 17, no, 16, field 16. All right, it should go all the way through. I'm going to go ahead and hire a worker. And let's do this that way. we got Philip on it. Okay. I got to get these names changed. But anyway, all this here from 19 to 18 is going to be canola. I got it wrote down on a piece of paper. I'll probably, not this episode, but next. Uh, I don't know what I did with it. That would trigger. Anyway, uh, 18 all the way down to the end of 19 is going to be canola. Uh, of course, 73 is wheat. 17 is oats. Uh, between those two or is it a grass field and between 18 and 17 is a grass field. 18 not, through 19 is going to be canola. 16 is going to be sunflowers. 14 is going to be soybeans. 13 is going to be corn and cotton test. So there's going to be a couple rounds of cotton I'm going to plant to just a test, you know. Let's see all this. We'll go in here on day seven. I'm gonna plant cotton. And that's the late spring. I'm gonna plant a row of cotton or you know 12 rows of cotton. On day one of summer or early summer I'm gonna plant cotton. Day four, day six, and day nine. I might just wait this summer and plant it. Now I'm gonna do seven late spring. One, four, seven, and nine. Somewhere along that. And we got some signs that I'm gonna label. That's right, folks, I'm gonna label. These guys have been doing pretty good working over there. This guy turns around all right. I'm just going to leave him as a worker. Hopefully he turns to the right, not to the left. To the right, to the right. Oh. Wrong place, wrong song, right? But anyway, I'm wanting to take all these trees out to make this feel bigger. And uh, we're going to grow some regular trees also. In uh, coming months, uh, or you know, maybe next season of this, we're going to start planting trees, but not here. I'm going to try to do it up by sawmill, maybe, so it'll be a little bit closer. There's a big field up there. Um, kind of 
come on. Yeah, the hired worker's doing it right now. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> and just wiggle it on back. Yeah, that's good. Now, please, please, please turn to your right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that, that's going to work pretty good. This is the case. I'm gonna go to get the uh, the small flatbed truck that we got for transporting mission pallets and all that stuff. We're going to get it and take it to the market shop. I'm gonna do it off screen now and get one five thousand liter of fertilizer and probably some pesticides because I know I don't have enough pests or herbicide I'm sorry herbicide I don't have enough herbicide to do all this I just got two uh, crates of it two pallets all right well he's off it won't take very long with three of these going so uh, yeah but anyway, folks, that's going to conclude this episode. I hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, this guy here, I'm going to take the wheels off of him. And another guy, we need to wash him. We need to wash some equipment. So I might do that off screen. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're going gonna to be at it, folks. Uh, Next episode, just in case you're warning, we will be planting, uh, which will be this same day. I want to show you all some of this. This is pretty neat. I'm going to show you where we're going. I got where we're actually create fields. I didn't do nothing to this. I guess I wasn't doing it right. But yeah, seemed to work pretty good. I'm doing this that way I make sure I don't leave none of those little bitty tiny pieces of uh, uh, they call them pies when they cut a tree down leaves a little piece of pie I want to make sure I get all them off here because I don't want no lag or nothing like that and it's so much I wish I could get uh, somebody come in and help me but with all the mods and stuff uh oh All the mods I got, it will take forever to transfer, you know, fix it where somebody can come in and help me. But anyway, folks, I appreciate each and every one of y'all to come out and that supported and helped me and stuff. It was really, really nice of y'all. I'm trying to make my way to a thousand members, so be, <clears throat> be sure to share me with your friends okay that's all i ask hit that like button subscribe y'all know what to do y'all know what to do all right i'm gonna get off here folks i'm having a little bit too much fun with this dozer park it back over here i ain't no way i can get it done this time around probably but i, I like to get this where we have a little bit more Plant Mary, but it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Anyway, y'all have a great day, folks. A blessed day. You've been watching Midwest Horizon map here on Farming Simulator 19. Your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Y'all have a great day, folks. Later.